This is the human brain. Over the last decade, medical advances have made massive leaps in making the brain stronger. But our elderly population are reporting more brain injuries than ever before. So what is causing brain injuries in the elderly? We are Australia's brain injury organisation, so let's start there. What is a brain injury? Brain injuries are any situation where the brain has been damaged. This includes things like strokes, brain hemorrhages and infections of the brain. Older people often acquire different types of brain injuries. A lot of these are degenerative diseases which can include things like dementia, Parkinson's and alcohol related conditions. Also under the ABI umbrella is the traumatic brain injury or TBI. You'll probably have heard a lot about TBIs, which are things like car accidents, concussions or assaults, or the big one for us today, falls. Recent data shows that for people aged 65 and over, head injuries are the most common types of injury after a fall, and this has doubled in 10 years. So this is huge. We commonly see TBIs resulting from falls, particularly in the elderly. Dr Judy Craft is a Queensland Senior Lecturer in Physiology and Pathophysiology. For more than 10 years, she has been exploring the human body and teaching the next generation of nurses exactly what is going wrong when someone has a fall. In an elderly person, a fall is likely to be severe without being corrected part way down like you might see someone in a younger age group. In the older population, a fall commonly results in the individual going all the way down, perhaps hitting their head on a table on the way or else eventually colliding with the ground. So what is causing these falls? Well, lots of things can factor in, such as loss of physical strength, balance and vision, slower reaction times, coexisting neurological conditions, dizziness from medication, safety in and around the home, nutritional issues, concussions due to multiple falls, incontinence, and even footwear. Interestingly, a 2008 paper from the University of Wollongong found inadequate footwear to be a major contributing factor to the elderly having falls. And for a heads up, the paper states low heels and firm slip resistant soles has been optimal for inside and outside the house. The exponential rise in brain injuries among the elderly has been coined the silent epidemic, with rates of head injuries doubling in Australia for over 65s. So what can be done? Well, early prevention for falls is a biggie. To prevent falls, we recommend getting your daily dose of sunshine because vitamin D levels helps with strength and balance. Take part in exercise programs or strengthening activities like Tai Chi, which will also give you a good leg or pair of legs to stand on. Talk to your GP about getting yourself some non-slip mats and eliminate any environmental hazards like a coffee table at shin height that has always gotten in the way. Sleep, get enough of it. And remember, wear the correct and sensible footwear. Throw out those stilettos, a sensible heel is key.